What's going on guys? How's it going? Felt started here. Still out on the snowshoe. And for any of my viewers who don't know what snowshoes are, this is what a snowshoe is. Because I know a lot of you guys, you're from all over the world and maybe you don't know, but there's some kind of like ramp at the bottom and yeah, you can easily <laughs> track through snow and up hills and down hills and they're really, really good. So today, Still in Switzerland, still enjoying the beautiful view here. But what we're going to talk about is comments in your in your code. Because I had a few people ask me, when should I write a comment? When should I not write a comment? And I thought, okay, I'll give you my opinion on it. And it's my opinion. It doesn't mean it's correct. Everybody has their own approach. And that's fine. Okay? But my opinion on comments are, a comment shouldn't really tell you what the code is actually doing. Say if you have a code and it says one plus one, if you were to comment above saying one added one, I mean, I can see from the code that it's doing that, but what I don't understand is why it's doing that. So personally, I feel that it's there's a lot more value in actually writing the intent of what you're doing. So why are you making that mathematical operation or why are you doing something? I think that's much more important. Now, as well as that, you have to understand when you should write your 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 comments. And there is an exception to the rule, what I just said. If you have a, a library and say if there's a hack in the library or a cork and you have to do something strange, you have maybe comment exactly that you're doing that on purpose. It may look weird or but you have to do that because of this reason. So it can actually be beneficial to be explicit. In, in that particular scenario. Quite rare scenario, but it does happen. I've seen it before. Some beautiful snow falling off here on the trees. Uh, you missed it, doesn't matter. But what I'm saying is, it's fine to do it if there's a hack in the library, you have to be explicit. Write the comments and why you're, you're doing this for this reason, so people don't actually come and delete it because they think it's a mistake. Second of all, don't comment everything. You have to understand what you should comment, what you should not. I believe that you should get really good at naming variables and naming methods and naming classes and name, getting good at really naming everything. And reading the, uh, a book called The Clean Code, you should read that. There's a great chapter in that because that is like turning your code into poetry. And when you have poetry in your code, you can easily follow it through based on the naming conventions and your style. Therefore, this probably reduces the amount of comments you, you typically need. Next thing is Javadoc rules with the team. So the team typically has a set of Javadoc rules. Well, you should fit into the team, see what the team does. Don't come in and change everything. See how the team works. If the team are writing too many comments that are not adding any value, maybe let's think about reducing them and trying to focus on really value comments that you think if someone comes along in a, in a week or a month or a year or two years or five years, that this comment is going to, give them value then write the comment if not then you don't it's, it's a waste of time doing it similarly if you don't write enough comments the team doesn't write enough maybe you should think about introducing some particularly to areas that are quite complex and have like a really complex say a set of if statements maybe you should write some kind of high level pseudocode you can do it really nice in, in a java comment just to make it really explicit to, to what you're doing next thing is comments need to stay up to date so if you start commenting everything, you start changing code, you have to continuously keep on updating these comments. So that's why you should be really particular on where you add them. So that's when you zoom in on a piece of code. Now, the, the code is part of an overall, usually today, 20, 20, nearly 21. It's part of a massively distributed system in most code bases. So you can think of moving parts everywhere. So it's really important that code documentation or code comments fall into the overall documentation of an overall code base. And for that, you need some kind of system architecture diagram, at least at a high level with different boxes and, and then components. So that you can see the overall architecture. So you have a piece of idea of asynchronous communication and whatnot. And then when you zoom in, you can see particularly quirks or, or things going on within the code. So you get the zoom out and you get the zoom in and then you get to see really important pieces of low level information. So I see it as part of an overall overall package of documentation within the whole code. 
so what else can I say about comments? Yeah, I think I think that's the, the main things with comments. Don't overdo them, guys, and make sure you add them where they add value, but don't just write comments on, on every every line. So I hope you guys can enjoy the, the scenery here. We have another 5k or so to walk. It's it's actually 27th of December at the moment here. I'm not too sure if you can see down, but there's the guys doing the cross country skiing down there. Maybe you can zoom in on the, the camera. The iPhone is pretty good zoom. You can see the guy. If not, no worries, guys. Just you're gonna have to. <laughs> you're just gonna have to believe me. And uh, yeah, and if you don't agree or if you have anything else to say about the comments, maybe I missed something. Please add it in the comments. Help the guys out. Start a debate. Why not? Love it. <laughs> Peace out, guys.